after I want to say almost a year, I'm filming an updated sweatshirt hoodie crew neck haul. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Allie. Welcome back or to my YouTube channel. Um, I had a bunch of requests to do this when I put up a poll on my Instagram story and I am packing to go to college. So I figured no better time to do it when everything's kind of out of the closet anyway. Behind me is every sweatshirt hoodie I own. Um, I think I'm gonna go through all of them and basically just do it in like sections. I've like broken them up in some sort of organizational manner. So take that with a grain of salt and here we go. Okay, I'm starting off with the white pile of hoodies. This first one is a really recent hoodie and it's from Whalebone in Montauk. The brand is great. Um, it's really, really thick, so probably not bringing it with me to Miami because it will just genuinely be too big for that. Um, next, this hoodie is Brandy Melville, and these hoodies, the Christie hoodies, are some of my favorite and the least expensive in my entire collection, so highly recommend these. They're so comfortable. Next up is a crew neck, and this is from Cherry, and I'll open it just to show you the back. It's from the Valentine's Day collection and, sorry, I'm muting my phone. I honest to God think that this is one of my favorite sweatshirts ever. I just, I loved the collab so much. I think I'm such a like, lovey sort of person that when this collection happened, I was like, love that, absolutely. Probably one of my favorite Drew House hoodie crew necks ever. This is the white one. It literally just has this on it, um, but it's super, Comfy, I wear this all the time. And I bought that like in quarantine, which is funny. And then another one of my favorite brands is Aritzia, and this is just the Cozy AF fleece. I really like their other crew necks more, the ones that are like, they're soft, but they're not fleece. This is great, again, it's really warm though. Okay, this is another really big pile, gray. <laughs> This is a boys lie crew neck. It comes with matching sweatpants. I wear this all the time. I love the material. Um, I love that it's not super thick and it's really, really comfy. They drop stuff all the time now, so just follow them on Instagram. Um, this is an army NYC crew neck. I wear this all the time on top of workout stuff. It's really, really comfy and it reminds me of my people. Um, this next mini, I was gonna say this next section, but sort of mixed in. I have a bunch of sweatshirts from my boyfriend. Um, Austin played lacrosse at Canisius, so this is a crew neck from Canisius that he had. It's really comfortable. This sweatshirt I also have in black that you guys will see soon. This is the Nike, I don't know what this is called. It's cropped and it's really boxy and it doesn't look flattering, but I swear I wear this in the black one most Honestly, like really up there in my list out of all of my sweatshirts. The material's great, it's so comfortable. I wanna say I just got it on the Nike app. Um, this is another Brandy Melville Christie, but it's not the hoodie, it's just the crew neck and it says New York on it. Super cute. Um, when Maggie McDonald came out with her merch, I got the With Love crew neck and honestly, it's champion crew, it's great quality. She was right, it does get better every time you wear it. Um, and then another one of my favorites is my Essentials Fear of God crew neck. Um, really, really soft. I love the material. I love the gray and black. I always find myself going to gray hoodies and um, crew necks first. Okay, here's sort of like a miscellaneous section, but this is like all different random colors that I don't have duplicates of. Um, this is a Drew House hoodie in gr the green olive color. Um, it's huge, it's a size medium. If I did get another Drew House hoodie, I probably would get a small. I have three now in mediums though, and I do like them, they're just really big. But um, this one really, really is super, super soft, I love it. The only few sweatshirts that are currently in New Jersey that I don't have here are like old high school ones, and then I have my red Drew House one at home too. Um, this is from Cherry LA. This dropped for a limited edition champion collab. Um, so cool, love this. 
Love the purple. It's my only purple crew neck hoodie in my entire collection. This is another Montauk purchase. I got this at Montauk Brew Co. I'm literally obsessed with their IPAs. Like Natalie and I went every day. So I bought the crew neck <laughs> naturally. Um, a brand that I work with all the time sent this to me and it has my last name on it. They like printed it on, which I think is so cool, called New Embroidery and I have a discount code for them that I will link here. I love their stuff. Um, another Boys Lie hoodie that I can't wait to bring to Miami with me is this one. It says 1-800-BOYS-LIE and then on the back, I'll open it because it's really cool. Oh, hello. It's so fun. I love this. Go Canes with the orange. Super, super cute. Um, I wear that hoodie a lot. One of my best friends made this for me, Jane. This is literally a Target crew neck that she wrote Palm Beach on. And I literally, when Palm Beach Soul was open, I wore this almost every day. And the amount of like Palm Beach moms that were like, where did you get that? And I was like, it's literally a Target sweatshirt that my best friend made. Anyways, um, this and this are like the dupes on Amazon that everyone finds. This one says, lucky me, I see ghosts. And honestly, like when all of this stuff came out, I wasn't that into drops yet that I like really knew what I was doing. Slash, they're so overpriced now that I have no interest in buying them and to like cure the, the want for it. I was like, I'll get the dupe and I love them. And like, I don't care either. Um, this one's really cute too but really, really fun. And just like Amazon dupes, I wear these a bunch. They like make any outfit that is boring fun and the quality is decent too. Uh, this is the Aritzia crew neck that I was talking about, um, the brown. So it's not, it just says TNA. I believe this is just the TNA boyfriend and the other one was the Cozy AF fleece. These are literally the same thing and it's just the Brandy Melville oversized zip ups. I wear these all the time on top of leggings and a sports bra to go to yoga, I love them. Okay, we have another pile of gray. <laughs> this is the last pile of gray. Um, this is a hoodie that I got with Natalie in the Hamptons at the Montauket. We had some really good memories at that bar. So definitely wanted to remember that one. Oh, here's my further Austin Paul. This is another Canisius <laughs> hoodie that I have taken of his. Um, this is a Nike one of his that I really like. That's gotta be some lacrosse terminology, but um, fighting for, I don't know. He played for a million different teams and things, but I, I like having his hoodies. I also stole this one from him. He is at Cornell right now. So I honestly love wearing the Cornell one because the amount of times people are like, oh my God, like go big red. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, you go to Cornell, right? And I'm like, no, but it's big and comfy. Um, this is another army sweatshirt that has like the army A on it. Big hoodie, huge. I think I bought this in a large. And this was when like the OG army stuff came out, which is funny because army is so big now. Um, another one of my favorites, this is a Supreme hoodie that I honestly don't wear as much as I should. I really like this hoodie a lot. It's a lot of fun. And um, for like streetwear brands, like that kind of stuff, Supreme quality is unbelievable. Okay, we're down to the last two sections. I'm actually impressed with how organized this was. This was literally my first like cool sweatshirt I ever bought. It's from Supreme. I got it at the store in Soho when it was around. It's so old now that it has like paint on it. Where is it? Cause I've worn it like, I should have never worn this like to do any sort of manual labor, honest to God. Not that I really do much manual labor in my free time, but I've worn that thing. It's so worn in now and it's so comfortable and I love navy. So that's a real old school alley hoodie. Another army hoodie, big and huge. All of these are like my New York clothes when it was winter. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Um, this is another Supreme hoodie that I have. It's like a really fun, like geometric looking one, size medium. I honestly, like I go back and forth with wanting to sell a lot of this stuff because as much as I do wear it now that I'm in Florida almost, well, I guess kind of entirely full time, unless I go back to see people in Jersey, 
It's like, when am I actually gonna need a hoodie that thick? But I also think that they will increase in value over time, so you never know. This sole hoodie I got during the Palm Beach pop-up. I loved it because of all the cities on the back. I thought it was so fun. So I'll wear this to work and stuff because if I'm not necessarily in uniform, it's easier to get away with it if I'm actually wearing like sole stuff. And here is the black version of that crew neck, the boxy one that I was telling you guys about from Nike. It's amazing. We're down to the last section. Newest section and the smallest section. Um, these are all my Miami sweatshirts and I really don't have many. Um, Miami crew neck. This was given to me by my friend Jenna who used to go to Miami that transferred. Thank you Jenna for your contribution. I wear that all the time. Um, new embroidery, same brand, made this for me and I'm obsessed with it. It says you Miami and it has a little green stitching in the corner. Gray crew neck. Um, pro tip if you order from them, if you want it to be oversized, I'd get a large. Like if you're about my size and you want it to be oversized, get a large. Um, this is another Jenna hoodie. Thank you so much, Jenna. This is really cute. It's like ribbed. I like this a lot. I think when once I move, I'll go to the bookstore and probably get like a classic like champion crew neck situation. Maybe a white one. But I'm happy that I have like a few things right now. And then the only thing that I bought sweatshirt sweatpant wise, which is shocking when I like immediately found out that I got in was because LF was having a huge sale. And I don't shop on LF unless it's the big sale because no. But this I found on the sale and I could not pass it up. So it's a sick like Miami hoodie and then they add the stars down the side. I know what some of you are gonna say. This is like so basic, everyone has it. I am everyone, duh. I just think they're so fun. I love the glitter, like, so comfortable. I'm literally out of breath now from that, but um, thank you guys for watching this video. That is my updated sweatshirt tour haul. I know there's definitely some new ones that I didn't have in that last one that I did last year, so I hope that was enjoyable for you guys. Um, I don't know when this video will be posted in between the midst of like moving and all that jazz, so wherever I am, wherever you guys are at, I hope everything's going well. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know down below what you want to see. I love doing these hauls and all sorts of things. I've also been doing a lot more like styling sort of stuff on TikTok. So follow me there if you want to see that kind of stuff too. But yeah, that's going to be all. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching.